Hello and welcome to BS Games Plays Unlimited Ninja, the online Naruto game. I'm Burn and this will be my beginner's guide. Even if you've played the game years ago, there may be some good information in this video. The game has changed a lot over the years. Now if you want to be a top player, the most important piece of advice I have for you is that the early game is a race. If you want to be a top player, wait for day one of a new server. If there aren't any new servers and you want to wait for a new one, play an old server for a bit to get used to the game so you can hit the ground running. I think a new server is released about once a week. So it looks like I choose um, server 1161 or something like that, uh, but I assure you I choose the newest server. Um, now you'll want to choose your character, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, the stats are the same. Um, I like the ninjutsu character, I think its design is the best, but the taijutsu character is the best. Um, because you can transfer your weapons to other taijutsu characters. Um, Genjutsu uses a strategy attack, which is pretty much chakra. Um, ninjutsu is a very rare type, but a lot of characters are Taijutsu type, so choose your name, start the game, start doing some of these early on missions. I have to turn off the sound there. Um, it's easy enough to just complete a whole bunch of those missions. Now start looking at some of your events that you can do. So the top up event. Um, it is pretty much a pay to win game, but a lot of the time you don't have to be actually um, paying to get stuff. Um, like a lot of a lot of other players aren't pay to win, so just start collecting some of these rewards. Um, they're really good. First day gift pack. Now this is really awesome. It gives you a red rank character, which is like the highest rank character you could possibly get right off the bat. I think that's in an attempt to help other cat other players catch up on servers that have been running for you know, five plus years. Um, and uh, actually, if you uh, there's actually a stat boost on these LA servers. Um, that if you refresh, it will upgrade um, your power by a whole bunch, a big old bunch. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute. But first, I'll do a level like normal. Um, so you just want to do your first mission. The only, I mean, it's the only thing you can really do at the start of the game. Anyway, I probably shouldn't have called myself BS Games. I probably should have called myself Burn. But. Uh, so you do one hit anyway, even without that stat boost, but the stat boost adds, I don't know, 40,000 battle points or something to you, so it's really good, but it has to be applied each time you add a new character, you need to reapply it. So a little shortcut there is if you've got a mission, just click the maps, that way you don't have to run to it. Um, I also found that the game sometimes does have a problem where after it's been running for a while it starts to sort of slow down so you might need to refresh. There's a skip option there that you can use or um, other another way is to just reload the server if you're in a long battle but that one was a short enough one that you can just wait for it. Just keep on doing your missions, you're just trying to level up nice and fast. Uh, so just keep on doing your main missions at the start of the game. That's your only option. So here I am just doing more missions. And enter that. Um, and I'm just skipping through the text because this was luckily day one of the server. And I'm rushing rushing as fast as possible, I had a chance to do good at the server. Um, I don't know what what time, um, Naruto, the Naruto time in the top right hand corner, um, which is like the internal server time, I don't know what time the servers reset at, um, but I'm just racing ahead here. 
and now we've unlocked formations so you can have up to five characters eventually but at the moment it's just you can only use three um now if you are choosing to top up if that gem rush is there choose the gem rush before you top up because you uh, get some uh, a couple of points for the gem rush topping up thing um so I think I paused here, and then topped up. So you can see it's activated the top up event bit there. I only topped up five dollars, it's all I can afford at the moment. Um, and I'm not interested in doing anything more, it was just for a slight boost to hopefully um, give me a chance on day one of doing good. You can see because I've reset, I've instantly gone to 64,000 battle points, which is pretty fucking good for starting off. And I collect those gifts, and I thought that I had Guy, but you've got to claim the gifts first. Um, now, this button, the Discord button, there's a whole bunch of codes. You can see um, Ninja666 and Ninja World there, um, but these are all the codes that I could find. So I'm just copying and pasting each of them one by one in to get a fuck ton of really awesome rewards. And I'll just keep that going. Uh, so just keep on pasting your codes in. And I'll do the rest off camera. Okay, now I go to look at this because that's been activated. You can see because it was glowing, so I pick that up. More rewards, get this. That's one for topping up. Not important, not a big deal. It doesn't give you a big bonus. And now we're going to check out the bag. And I wasn't sure whether you can activate him, but you need to be level 50 for him, level 30 for Madara. But Sasuke can use straight away. Now I'm trying to work out which of my items I should be using first because you've got limited bag space so I'm going to be doing all of that as soon as possible trying to cons conserve some bag space and um, stupidly I thought that uh, I could only use two two things but I could have actually used all three so I should have kept a Ruka in there um, and he would have been a little bit stronger, but I think I even do a couple of battles without him. And you can see how many rewards I have. Look at the amount of silver I have there. That's a fucking ton of silver. Um, the jade packs, they're going to be really good. Those, um, it's gotten a bit laggy here, so I'm just waiting for that to sort of die down a bit really good rewards there. Jade packs are important because they're used in a cool event. Um, the agility packs, the perfect fruit packs for your beast when you level up. I'm trying to get to level 30 or something, trying to get as high a level as possible in that 10 minutes before the boss shows up, which I didn't have a chance, but you should have a chance. Um, it might the event must, uh, the server must start about two hours before this, so um, if you go on another server, you'll be able to see um, the time, and then, I don't know, maybe start your server time at 11 o'clock, you'll be able to convert the difference between the Naruto time up in the top right and um, your local area time. I started using some skips. Um, to try and make things faster, but honestly, um, the power is so strong in these characters early on, it really doesn't make any difference, so I realised I was just wasting my, um, my skip cards, and I thought I'd keep them for later on, and I should have been using a Ruka too, I would have been at a much higher power, but it's not a big deal, um, so that I've reset again, 
which once again it speeds up the speed because it does get a bit laggy every now and then um, and it will apply that stat boost to Sasuke. Now, got that to complete. There we go, you can see I'm back to 64k, but I should be at nearly 100k straight away. But it's really not that big a deal. I'm still, you know, two hitting, well, one hitting everyone. It's one attack from my main and one from Sasuke. And you can see you level up very fast early game. Um, you know, just about every battle is a level. Um, for quite a while, it's just the sheer number of things that you've got to do early game, trying to get to level 30. But level 30 is a major turning point on these LA servers. You unlock Madara, which is a great bonus. Um, you've got some awesome things to collect here. I don't know when this SVIP one thing is, uh, was introduced, but uh, that was awesome. It's got a great gift there. Unfortunately, you need to spend a ton of gold to be able to upgrade the level. Um, make sure you receive those as ability points. Um, and I've leveled up to level 10, so I can grab that ranking reward. Nothing particularly great there, but you may as well grab it as soon as possible. Now that I've unlocked this ability, and I've actually done sort of enough to gain a little bit more than it expected of me. So now I just do as much as I can on that, because why not? You may as well just upgrade as high as possible. You can see because I'm VIP 1, I'm able to get the VIP 1 uh, gift for that. But it's not a big deal at all. Then I add uh, a Ruka back. And you can see he's gone to that, added me to that uh, 94k. Which is a, an absurd amount that would usually probably take a week or so to get to that sort of power level um, back in the olden days, five or six years ago, but now um, now the power levels are just through the roof um, so I'm going to use up some more items because I need to conserve some of that um, bag space I'm saving my experience potions for uh, my experience scrolls and stuff for um, Madara and, um, Madara and Guy, and, um, yeah, the Guy, on these LA, back in the olden days, um, a VIP character, like, uh, even Sasuke would be enough to make a huge difference in the game, um, but honestly, there isn't that much of a difference, um, between VIP player, like low level VIP players and um, free to play and so I'm on a server with not many people um, I'm VIP 1, I think there's 2 or 3 other VIP 1's and 4 or 5 free to play players um, another awesome thing is these servers don't actually matter being a little bit dead um, by the way the game glitched out a little bit here um, so I had to pause the video, um, but yeah, th these these games they actually don't matter having a a, um, a low number of players on new servers because you can get strong enough to actually do some do some shit um, like you get strong enough to be able to solo these beasts and some mini bosses and stuff that in other servers you would need 20 or 30 characters to be able to beat which is i think it's really awesome i like to i mean if i were the only one playing on the server it wouldn't actually kill it for me on these LA servers whereas back in the old days if you were the only one i mean it's it's spelt disaster for you because you couldn't be doing you couldn't be killing important characters that you needed to be killing so I'm just rushing through things, I tested to see whether I could talk yet, but I guess you've got to be at level 30. 
I thought I'd maybe introduce myself or whatever. That top up thing, that stays no matter what you do. It's very, very annoying. Um, it's always flashing at you, so you have to sort of learn to tune it out. Um, and uh, what have we got here? Some find equipment. So that's a little bit better than my equipment at the moment. May as well equip that just to. Equipping all of that stuff will just mean that I've got less less stuff in my bag at the moment. So that's useful. Go and equip the refined kunai. It's absolutely not important on characters that low, especially for um, that low on level and that low uh, equipment. It just is meaningless. Um. So then just skip through all this dialogue, you'll probably want to be skipping through the dialogue, it's meaningless, it's boring, it's nothing. I've decided to take Aruka out because I don't need him at all. Um, I don't need a, uh, I need uh, an assaulter more than I need a vanguard early game. Um, or that's what I had originally thought, and then I remembered once I get to level 50, which I'll probably be level 50 before I actually do any, any boss fighting or anything. Um, I'll have Guy, so I'll be able to use Guy and Sasuke. Um, so I guess I may as well level up Aruka in case I'm using Aruka. At some point, I wasn't sure who I would have and when. Um, but, especially if you're free to play, then you wouldn't have Sasuke or um, Guy. Um, so I'm just looking at those um, top-up rewards. Pretty useless. You can see I've got a ton of silver. An absolute ton of silver. Uh, what? 203 million or something? Just from quickly eyeballing it. Which, I mean, that's a big number. That's a big old number. But, just rushing through early game, doing my, uh, just trying to level up as fast as possible. And so, I'm just, you can see my characters are just one-shotting everyone. My BP, uh, my power is still only 96,000. Rushing ahead. And I don't know whether there's some sort of experience boost or something. I don't know whether it's for VIP or whether it's on these LA servers. But I feel like I'm leveling up just slightly faster. Like, I think I should have only just been getting around level 10 now um, on my main character because it was giving me the refined equipment, but there I am at level 17, so I don't know. Um, I don't know whether it's an XP boost because of VIP or whether it's an XP boost because of the LA server and whether it's an automatic application or not. Once again, I'm, I'm not using Kiba, but I'm equipping him so that there's less equipment in my bag, taking up that bag of space. And it's giving me a whole bunch of S ability. So I've nearly ranked up from a green rank S ability character to a blue rank character, which is good um, for later on. It's important to level up that character. Now it's unlocked Fortify, it forces you to Fortify five times, I've just left it at that. I prefer to never have the Fortify equipment run down to zero on the clock, it means you're almost wasting cooldown time, um, but I don't particularly want to be uh, using that equipment and fortifying this equipment that I know I'm replacing. So, I'm trying not to fortify, but I won't let it reach zero, hopefully. Um, zero cooldown time. 
So, easy kills there. You're pretty much as strong or stronger than those characters that are meant to beat you. So, I'm gonna take my weapon to level 10. I accidentally took it to level 11. I don't know how that happened, but you can see you can do 10 each um, fortify adds two minutes and if you reach over 20 minutes then you get a cooldown time unless you're a vip then then certain vip levels have different effects on the uh fortify cooldown time but i'm back to using back to doing main missions trying to level up fast as hell you can see i'm leveling up just about every battle which is really cool um such an awesome feeling and especially because you know you're racing towards that level 30 and at level 30 you're getting such a cool character you're getting some really good stuff at level 30 so um i'll save that explanation for once we actually reach it but level 30 is like a turning point in the game and it's really cool so you unlock the um i unlocked the uh the ninja club there and the equipment for the ninja club um but it's not necessary at the moment to do because i'm vip i'm not doing it um but it does try and force you to recruit neji but um I mean, use your own judgement on whether you want to use him. If you're VIP, I wouldn't get him. Um, I still haven't unlocked him and I'm a couple days into the server. Because um, it takes a while to edit these. Um, but level 50 for uh, Guy, level 30 for Madara. And Madara is um, an awesome character. It's amazing that they give him to you that early on get level 20 reward um, if you know some of those level 30 items you can see how cool they are you get them early on so I just ignore that uh, that ninja club thing for a while I'll show you it but I don't use it it asks you to recruit it it tries to force you to recruit recruit it like a tutorial um, but you can save it and um, you may want to get Zabuza, um, if I were a free-to-play character, I'd probably save up. You easily get the, um, the extra materials, probably by day one. I think it's probably better to get Zabuza, and you would be, I would suggest if you've only got three characters on day one, um, for PvE events, you would be using Adora your main and Zabuza, um, and for PvP you want a Vanguard, so a Ruka, or if you've upgraded um, and bought a different uh, Vanguard then use that, but um, just adding that guy so that I've got more friends, adding more, um, uh, more stuff I can send to people. Um, uh, so, uh, Neji is also an assaulter, and that's why I chose not to get him, because I already had Sasuke, and I had Sasuke's purple, Neji is blue rank, the, um, colour ranking is important, and I'm gonna have Guy, and I'm gonna have Madara, so there's, there's not even a spot for more assaulters, so, Neji kind of stinks, I wasn't sure which clan to go in, and because he can't talk, you can't find out what clans there are, but sometimes they have um, recommended gifts. Um, I chose the Senju clan, even though it, I don't know why it's Sendao. It must be a poor translation from the Chinese version. Um, and I think I'm still the only Senju, to be honest. I haven't got anyone else to join my um, guild um, to date. Um, you probably, I don't know whether you want to be joining, um, another 
I don't know whether you want to be joining the popular guild or the popular clan. Um, you probably do, so that you can do the, the beast. Um, and when you've killed a beast, you're able to fight the other ones. So you don't want to be fighting your beast and beat it at the same time as they beat their beast, and then you've only got access to two beasts. It's better to be... Um, beating your beast first, then you beat the second beast, then you beat the third. I had a look at who else was on the server, and, um, kind of interesting that Rotsu is only that level. Okay, I can see he's not a VIP, or I'm assuming he's not a VIP. Um, he, um, could have, he wouldn't have been able to activate, um, guy at that level anyway, but I didn't think he looked like a VIP, and I thought it was weird that he was level 39, and not half of that. and uh, just having a quick look at the other guy being level 58, so we'll see how long it takes for me to reach level 58, and then I guess that's how long he'd been on when I started here, and it, once you have a look, I'm just having a look at what he's got there, and I saw that he didn't have guy then, and he could have activated it, so I assume he's not a VIP player. So that's kind of good for me to know that I might be the only VIP player. I may have an advantage over them. It's not guaranteed, um, because it's an LA server, but if I do, that's pretty cool. Now, just rushing, um, get, as I get closer to level 30, it just excites me. I thought he might have had some equipment that I wanted to look at, but he doesn't until you're in another area, and I will talk about that later, um, possibly in another video, um, like the second part of this, which I'll try and upload ASAP, as I may have said. Editing takes a while. I've done no editing, video editing, training, or experience or anything like that so um i'm very slow and i have a lot of trouble with it um so it's a learning experience and now we get a feature that i like so there's no senju clans i had no idea what to name this guild and i realized i probably should have called the guild BS games to, pr um, to promote the channel. I should have ca called myself Burn because that is my name. Um, but it left me with no idea what to call it. I didn't know whether to call it something based on Naruto, but I don't really like them. So I, w I wish I, c I really regret the names that I've named my main character and that I've named my guild but uh, if you want to join this server it's never too late to join it um, it's not a big problem if you join it late um, and there's so few people on it um, that you will actually be able to be an active active player actually so I've just called it YouTube because I have a YouTube channel that's it that's all the logic I had behind it. Donate as much as you can to your guild at all times. Um, so I've upgraded my attack. It's the most important stat. And now I can see that if I just save up a bit more, I'll be able to upgrade it. So that's not a big deal. Here's an awesome uh, feature that because I have so much money from it being from the gift codes and stuff, I'm just going to level it up a whole bunch. Uh, my goal is to have it a four tail. Um, I think you should have a four tail by the end of the week. Um, but honestly, if you use those gift codes, you can get it by day one. And so I'm just going to use up a whole bunch of money. Now add display to level him up. And I thought, oh, maybe I'll just uh, keep it at uh, two tails for a minute. Make sure you you upgrade and then receive the reward before upgrading again, if you get a whole bunch of prestige. 
So now I'm going back to um, doing some of these main missions, trying to level up, as I said. Um, and that uh, tail beast that I upgraded, I will be. You actually have enough to be able to upgrade it to a four tails on day one. Um, but it does take level 50, which I will find out later. Um, to be able to get it to uh, the four tails. So there I go and grab some of these fruits, which give the tail beast a bit of a stat boost. It's really not that big a stat boost compared to the other stats that you get in the game from from the LA server, bo um, server boost and um, a whole bunch of other things that you get um, that are meant to level the playing field. It ends up being very negligible, the stat boosts, but it's still nice and it's still cool and I don't know why I keep on right clicking. That has been a consistent thing. I, I guess my finger, my middle finger is just a bit twitchy and I put it on the on the right clicker, but I mean, you can see that's a lot of fruits, which you can probably imagine being useful. And just doing some more, um, collecting those online gift packs. And I'm just doing main missions, and because I um, missed out on the the clam tail beast um, event. I'm just taking my time and I'm wanting to get to level uh, as high as possible and as high BP as possible before the evening events, which are the main part of the game and very important before they come around. Um, and I don't know whether you noticed, just before I got an item called an October Collection that is very important. I'm not sure whether by the time I release this the October Collection will still be around, but um, that's a very important item and I'm assuming that if the October Collection item isn't around, a November Item Collection will be around and I'm assuming that will be just as important. Um, in a while, I will actually get something that will allow me to have... It'll boost my BP by, I think, about a million. Let me just have a look. Yeah, it boosted it by about a million. So that's pretty darn incredible if I do say so myself. And just do main missions, level 28 on my main, that's amazing and fun and cool. Another October collection, I needed 400 of them for my um, 1 million BP uh, boost. Hopefully there's enough time with this uh, October collection for it to keep on going and for me to get another million power boost. That would be very cool. You can see you've got a ton of vitality, um, which uh, it honestly is enough to last you days, days and days. And now that Shadow is done brutally interrupting me, I'm hoping you heard that and thought that was funny, um, here we are at level 29, it's getting so close, we're getting so close, I'm excited. Level 30, I unlock Madara, he's really good. It opens up the game, um, the distance between level 30 and level 40 is short. I'm pretty sure it's pretty short. Um, so here we go, doing more missions. Come on, come on, come on. Now it's starting to be um, two missions after uh, every main mission has two. 
Um, everybody's level 29. And it does also seem like uh, there's a little bit of lag in there in some aspects. It could be moving a lot faster, so I'll probably ref I assume I'm going to refresh the uh, server. I'm actually doing this commentary uh, post um, post video, um, just because that's the easiest way for me to do it at the moment. I'm just having a look at that stuff, uh, it's all a bit garbage, um, having a look at some more of this stuff, uh, you can see how much gold I topped up, uh, and all of these things, so those gift things are actually cool, but I mean, it's a lot of money, it really is. Is it necessary? No, if you see someone else, do it on your server. I mean, if you've got the money and you want to spend it on it, go for it. More power to you. Um, I have actually done that before. I do have a server that I've topped up a lot of money on a long time ago. It was good fun. It was really cool. I'd love to do it again if I get big enough to be able to have, um, you know, expendable uh, money on a game, um, you know, hundreds of dollars in expendable money on a game, not just for making new content, absolutely, I'd love to be able to show you guys the difference between free to play or low VIP and a high VIP, and I'll probably make a video showing off my old account at some point, and some of the things that it has there. But, um, uh, that Kaguya, uh, gift pack that I was looking at earlier, I think in a much later pack there'll be advice on when to activate or how to activate it, um, because it's got that 24 hour trial period, I'd say don't activate it. I thought that it had a, um, well, don't activate it yet. Wait for that that video or that part of the video um, to be able to see when to do that. So I've leveled up again, and it's not very much to be able to boost. I'm checking applications to see if there's any new players who might have joined to maybe be part of the clan, but they haven't. Sucks a little bit. And there we are, level 30. Hooray! Um, I might actually just do this, uh, this level 30 stuff, and then I will call it a part. So you can see you get a whole bunch of unlocks for level 30. First thing I do, unlock Madara. Oh, I've been on long enough to expand the bag a bit. Let's take... Um, take it Ruka out, he's not necessary, I've got such a power boost that my assaulters can take a bit of damage. Now let's go and uh, bung some XP on Madara, and we don't need to use um, many epic scrolls, in fact it seems like uh, one XP scroll is already going to take it to level 30 or higher, so I actually didn't use that because I didn't want to be wasting XP, having XP disappear into nothingness. And it is crazy to think that Paul took, um, took that long to defeat his clan beast. It must have taken him nearly 25 minutes. Um, so I decided to say hi to him, um, and now that you've unlocked level 30, just may as well do those, and there we go, activate some of that, got a lot of things to start activating now, some blazing equipment, and What's this? Oh, it's an XP book. Use that 
bam, you level up really fast. Those XP books only use them on your main character. They're really awesome. They help you level up super, super, super fast. So, um, it's because I've leveled up so fast, uh, it's unlocked a whole bunch of things. Go and equip that level 30 equipment, because why not? It's better than level 20 equipment, that's for dang sure. And get my best equipment that I have, or my second best equipment that I have on Madara. You can see his BP is really low, because I need to reset for his... Uh, for the power boost to kick in. Um, now that I'm level 30 something, oh look at that, he got to purple level. Um, now I need to go to the bag, I can activate the Archangel, and I can activate this little fucking egg. Now the Archangel is a good boost, I've also unlocked uh, potency. And uh, 183 of them actually gets me to level 39. Uh, and I probably wasted one of them, uh, which isn't a big deal. But if you've chosen to use that straight away, uh, just be wary. Probably knock down just one of them. Um, so that Archangel, he's a big old boost. Um, I think you actually should be using. 16 hour um, boosts. I just used the daily task to get rid of it and I've entered the Senju Beast uh, just because I want to see if I can get a little bit of silver from it. And you can see I got a little bit of gold. Uh, I mean, I got a level up so I must have gotten a bit of XP and now I've gotten a stat boost. Um, I've gotten a stat boost to Madara, and uh, I've refreshed because I figured it would probably take a while to um, to count down. And hopefully, I've got enough time, add as much power as I can to myself. Um, but it would have been nice if I were doing this a lot earlier, but I couldn't be so. Uh, what am I going to do? I didn't know the server was open at the time, but it did. And so, I've just rushed as fast as I can. And one of the only things that I can do to power myself up more for the next attack on this... on this salamander... is to increase my beast level. Because I can't do my, uh, fortify anymore. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to waste up all of that, uh silver, which I had a ton of, had an absolute ton of, just get myself as high as possible, and I thought I'll go to Three Tails, Isobu, and I thought, you know what, let's, let's do it again, and what's that, level 40, too easy to reach level 40, um, which is uh, really cool, thought that I'd actually be ending the video before I got to level 40, but I got this going on, and I thought I'd say hi to everyone at the bottom there, because why not be friendly? I like to talk to people, so if you do end up joining the server, um, I'll probably, uh, I mean, I can't guarantee that I'll be on, um, you may even see me on, but I might be idling, say hi, if I'm on, I'll say hi back. Um, I'll try to find a good end point. Level 40 stuff, guess what, you get more XP items, so I'll go ahead and use up those XP books, and what level am I now? 49! So I'll be able to use Guy in a minute, which is very exciting. And because I've leveled up so much, I will be able to use some of those XP scrolls. So, I figured I'll use all 10 of them, see what level I get. Oh, excellent. Level 48, so none of them went to waste. And now, if we look here, 
Uh, the tail beast boost. Because I leveled up my tail beast. I got some more of those tail beast fruits. Which is cool. I've also unlocked this thing. You may as well always silver refresh until you, if you're lucky you'll get the golem treasure thing, the red section, but I think I've got that like one time in you know months of playing, so it's very, very rare. You use all of those. Um, I saw that Paul was talking to me, so I answered him. It's a it's a one time. Um, uh, what's my train of thought? I completely lost my train of thought. Um, busy watching watching my own video. Just use up all of those uh, those things. Oh, I was saying about the um, golem treasure thing. It's it's very rare to be able to get that. The rewards aren't that great. And I'm just grabbing all of the daily benefit rewards that you get. And there is an advertisement for my channel right at the end of this video.